Stop right there! Well, I suppose it doesn't matter as long as he goes back to the Sasso Inn. I'm happy to see you again, sir. Hmm. Likewise. No doubt you have many questions. I certainly do. We will talk. Not here, however. The wolves have ears. Let's meet at the pond after sunset. You'll find me waiting by the big willow tree. No. You'll say what you have to say right here. By Arn Heiling. You are a brave one, but if you want to know anything, come to the pond after sunset. So here I am. What do you have to tell me? I brought you here because I did not want to cause an alarm at the tavern. I am very sorry, but you made a mistake coming here alone. And it will be your last. Wait! You wish to make your peace with God? Very well. But be quick. I just want to know why you ambushed that wagon. You make no sense. Did your accomplices not tell you when they sent you after me? Accomplices? What are you talking about? I'm here on behalf of Sir Radzi Kobila. Radzi Kobila, you say? A nice attempt. Most men have such stories about wives and children. Your heart would break. Or else they try to buy me off with stolen coin. I feel quite hungry. <laughs> Well, <laughs> who is that, Teufel? It seems I have finally met my match. I want to know everything. Who you are, why you're here, and what you know about the ambushed wagon. You may call me Ulrich. I will tell you nothing more until you give me some assurances. Assurances? How about this? If you talk, I'll spare you. Do you expect me to believe that? I give you my word. <laughs> the word of a thief? Jesus. Unlike you, I'm not a criminal. You believe that the forging of money... I've got nothing to do with that. What? What are you saying? I'm in the service of Sir Radzi Kobola, governor of Scalitz and royal hetman. From who? Perhaps you might cheat that weapon. Uh, you're too dangerous. I should search him. I may find something.
Well, <laughs> who is that, Tyfe? It seems I have finally met my match. Your match? I think you meant to say you're superior. Do not be so proud. My day has been hard. That doesn't change anything. Now I'll be asking you a couple of questions, and you're going to give me answers to them nicely, starting with who you are. You may call me Ulri. I will tell you nothing more until you give me some assurances. Assurances? How about this? If you talk, I'll spare you. Do you expect me to believe that? I know full well how these stories end. I... I have been at the other end of the sword more times than you can count. I give you my word. <laughs> the word of a thief? Jesus. It is true what the preachers say. This world has gone quite mad. You had better kill me. I'm finished, anyway. Just as you are. Why do you think I'm finished? He who lives by the sword, dies by the sword. Once you take a weapon in your hand, your days are numbered. It is the same for every one of us. Not everyone. Every last one. Knight, mercenary or footpad. There are men who die peacefully in bed. Their wives and children at their sights. But not you or I. You will end your life in a ditch with your belly ripped. Unlike you, I'm not a criminal. You believe that the forging of money is an honest trade? I've got nothing to do with that. I'm not a forger, I'm the one investigating them. What? What are you saying? I'm in the service of Sir Radzig Kobola, Governor of Scalitz and Royal Hetman. Then we have something in common. I also am here under orders from above. From who? Perhaps you might sheet that weapon, so that we may talk eye to eye, if we do indeed have a common cause. Stand up. It is true our meeting has not begun well. But if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila, then we can assist each other. What do you mean? I found out many things, but there are still questions I cannot answer. And the last man who knew anything is now dead. What man was that? Mainhart, the merchant from Passau. Listen, I will explain everything to you. But first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? You will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you everything I've learned.
I don't think I could honestly recommend you as a suitor to any of the ladies I know. <laughs> your wit is as piercing as your blade. Fine, who is it? Master Tobias Pfeiffer. If your jewel is serf Sir Radzik, then you must know him. I think I know who you mean. What do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Pfeiffer, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense of it. And you'll give it to me, just like that. It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. In the meantime, I will return to Sassau and see what I might learn there. Who are you working for? I understand why you wish to know, but this does not mean I am at liberty to tell you. Very well. I shan't beat it out of you. And what about that wagon? What happened there exactly? I followed Menhard from Passau. I had reason to suspect the connection with Sassau. What do you mean about the connection with Sassau? The matter was investigated in Passau, and the executioner extracted information from those who were arrested. They told him that the coins were made in a monastery. What, in the monastery itself? I cannot say. I know only what the Passau scribe wrote down in his reports of the interrogations. Why did you let them get here before attacking? I wanted to discover where they hand over their coins, which I failed to do. Besides, Mainhard had an armed escort, and they kept two busy roads and lodged at inns throughout their journey. Until he came to this godforsaken trek. I cannot guess why he came here, but it was the perfect opportunity to strike. What happened on that track? I ambushed them. I took down two, but that bastard man had cut the horses loose and rode away. What next? While I was chasing Manhart, those charcoal burners came and stole what they could. Before I could catch him, his horse threw him and he broke his neck. So we won't get anything out of him? Unfortunately not. So they were transporting false groschen on that wagon? Yes. On their way here, they brought real coin, groschen, foreigns, francs and the like. But now, the sacks were full of counterfeits. What's your name, anyway? I told you, I am Ulrich. Just Ulrich? It is enough. Because you look like a knight. They seldom have just one name. It is true, I have a horse, armor, a sword and a shield. But there are many ways to acquire such things these days, as I am sure you know. So you're not a knight? I am a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all you need to know. I'd like to know more, but I have a feeling you won't tell me. Your feeling is correct. Shouldn't you go with me to see Feyfar? No. I must remain in Sasso. I have some uh, loose ends that must be tied. Tell me what you know about the false coins. The no, what is it? A city in Bavaria. Paso is a city of trade. All the currencies in Christendom change hands there. Some months ago, counterfeit Groschen were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from copper plated with silver. The puzzle of the man began to investigate and learned that a family of money changers was involved. They were bringing the forged coins in from Bohemia and sending back real ones. My liege lord is allied to the Paso Alderman, so they requested that he deal with the matter. And so he sent you? Yes. 
He needed a man that he could trust absolutely. What happened to Manhart? He is dead, of course. I know, but what did he do with his body? I buried it. He was a bastard. But I am not one to leave Christian remains rotting in the woods. I see. And where is his grave? He ran from the wagon uphill along the path to the north. Along the way there is an old ruined cabin. I buried him behind it. And don't think I don't know why you ask. Robbing graves is shameful. I'd say that's the pot calling the kettle black. You're mistaken. I've many deaths on my conscience. But robbing the dead, that's something I have no stomach for. Very well. I'll go and see Master Fayfar. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoner's Inn. Get going then, but leave that weapon right where it is. I agree. So, what did Master Pfeiffer have to say? I consulted him and we definitely have a starting point. Tell me more. Master Fafar found out they need copper sheets for the core of the coins and quicksilver for the alma... alma... Uh, uh, the other part? I see. They have such materials at the monastery. Exactly. That's why I'm interested in the local forges. Yes, that is good. I see. That's certainly worth asking about. You said they use quicksilver. There is a painter lodging here who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. He said that he went to the monastery for quicksilver and it was all gone. Well, that's something to follow up as well. Thanks. <laughs>